In this lesson, I'll be introducing you to multiplying integers. My hope is that you will look for patterns and develop a set of rules for multiplying positive and negative numbers on your own. So I want you to think about this scenario. There's five teammates running a relay race, and in a relay you tag off. So what happens is runner one starts at negative 50, and he runs to 50, and he tags runner two. Runner two runs from 50 to negative 50, and then she tags runner three who then goes back to 50 and tags 4. Again, he runs left to negative 50, tags 5, and she goes from negative 50 to 50 and finishes the race. Okay, so we're going to be looking at this scenario throughout the problem. So how is this going to relate to math? Well, probably in science class, I hope. Come on, Mr. Brightbill. You probably learned that speed times time equals distance. So we're going to use that concept to help us to write and solve a number sentence for each situation. It's going to be really helpful if you obey these kind of guidelines. You're going to use positive numbers for speeds that run right, negative numbers for speeds that run left. You'll be using positive numbers for times in the future and negative numbers for times in the past today. So our first question says this. Runner 1 passes the point 0, running 5 meters per second to the right. Where will he be 6 seconds later? Okay, so I'll walk you through this first example. So here's runner 1. Here he comes. Doo -doo -doo -doo. He's running. He passes 0, and he's going at a speed of 5 meters per second to the right, and we're going to pretend it's a constant speed for now. So he just goes, moves, 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 and we want to know where he's going to end up 6 seconds later. Okay, so I'm going to take him back to zero. So notice, I think that you can figure out that after six seconds, if he keeps running five meters every second, he's going to land at that 30. And we're going to write it as a math equation. So our speed is five meters per second, and he's going right, so we're going to say that's a positive number. So five times his time. He's run for six seconds, and we want to know where he is six seconds later, so in the future, so that's positive six. And notice he is going to end up at 30. So five times six equals 30. Okay, that's probably the simplest example. I'm going to ask you to look at the following three questions. I want you to pause the video I want you to respond to these three questions, and I want you to make sure that you write and solve a number sentence for each situation. Don't just give me the answer. The number sentence is really important for you to develop the idea of the patterns that are going along here. So pause, try this, then come back and check your work. Okay, for question two, runner two, here she is. Da, da, da. She passes zero. She runs to the left six meters per second. And after eight seconds, okay, she's almost to negative 50 there. want you to notice her speed. She's running to the left, so we're going to call that negative six. Where is she going to be eight seconds later? Well, that's a positive time in the future, so times eight. And she was at negative 48. So you should have written negative six times eight equals negative 48. Okay, the second one, runner three, he's passing the point in zero, going to the right, four meters per second. You want to know where he was before, six seconds ago, so he would have been back here somewhere. Okay, so again, he's going to the right, so four meters per second, he's four, positive. Where was he six seconds earlier? So in the past, so four times negative six, and notice he was at negative 24. Okay, and then question four. So this is runner four, here he goes. He's running to the left, five meters per second. Where was he seven seconds earlier? So where was he before? Okay, in this problem you should write, it's going five meters per second left, so negative five. Where was he seven seconds earlier? So times negative seven. And you should notice he was at positive 35. All right, I want you to take a moment, and in your packet, I would like you to create four of your own similar problems. So some word problems. 
One similar to each of the questions that I previously gave you, but use different numbers, okay? It can still be these scenarios with the runners running right and left. I want you to look for patterns. Do you see certain scenarios yielding, yielding similar types of answers? So are you getting like positive answers in a certain type of situation? Are you giving negative answers in a certain type of situation? I want you to predict when you think you're going to get positive answers, when do you think you're going to get negative answers? Take some time to really think about this, pause the video, do your best work here. Okay. Based on your scenarios, I wonder if you were able to come up with these rules for multiplication. So if you were able to come up with these, great. I hope you notice that every time you did a positive times a positive, a positive times a positive, you got a positive. Every time we encountered a situation where there was a negative times a negative, you also got a positive. Kind of weird, huh? Any time that you saw a positive times a negative, I hope you noticed that you got a negative. And then lastly, anytime you saw a negative times a positive, I hope you noticed that that answer was negative. Okay, we'll do more with this in the future, and please write these rules in your notebook.